Hey, it's Ty Scott Columbia with a summer schedule update. First off, on the 4th of July, instead of the usual how to make Lego Primon video, I'll have a special video of my Lego Sorta Online minifigures. I have a few more, three more specifically, since the last time I showed them in a video with the Tag on Titan minifigures. At the time, I only showed Kirito and Asuna, which was all I had. Those two have been updated, so as of this video being recorded, I only have five to show in that video, but I might have one or two more by the time I actually make that video. Next is, some people might not know yet, but I'm looking for people for free-for-all battles to have maybe once every other Saturday. I'm looking for people to join a Skype group where we'll have live calls going on while we do the free-for-all battles. So if you want to join that Skype group to be in free-for-all battles, if you're available when we have them, then leave your Skype name and friend code in, actually just your Skype name in the, just, I mean, in the comments. Then I'll get back to you on that. Next is an idea I had for a series, but I'm not sure if I should do it or not, so I'm going to ask first, is a LEGO Pokemon Showcase, where instead of just showing how to build a LEGO Pokemon, I'll only show that Pokemon along with its whole evolutionary family, since the smaller ones, like, say, Trico or Grovile, only get pictures so far. If I did do this, I wouldn't stop the pictures. The pictures would then just become previews. And instead of just showing the ones that wouldn't get their own videos. And I wouldn't be showing how to build anything in these videos. This would just be the, say, three Pokemon in an evolutionary family, or four if they have a Mega Evolution. And this would also be replacing full region videos because those are kind of a nuisance to make and they take forever since I have to finish an entire region to make them. And so far I've only done one that was actually really complete. The Unifor one I'm not counting because those were terrible, most of them. So I'm only counting the Kalos one being done so far. So if I did this, I would be starting off with Hoenn since that's what I have the most of so far aside from Kalos. Then, not sure what I'd do after that, maybe go back to Kanto, or move on to Sinnoh, not really sure, but I'd start by having probably a week full of one each day of those videos. So if anyone wants the LEGO Pokemon Showcase, where I just do this basically quickly, or slowly, but quickly show each of the LEGO Pokemon, each video would probably only be about a minute long. And for the smaller Pokemon like Trico or Grovile that wouldn't be getting their own videos, you can see how to build them from there by just pausing and looking over the pieces that I used to make them. And another thing is that I might be having a special sometime over the summer of some LEGO Legend of Zelda characters. I haven't made any of them yet, but I want to. So, I might be doing that. And then, one more question I have is, would anyone want to see live recorded Wi-Fi battles instead of just post-recorded Wi-Fi battles? If I did do this, I'd need more people to follow me on Twitter that were battlers, so that I could tweet out when I'm looking for a battle, so I could actually get a battle to be live recorded. Otherwise, it might only be once a month or less than that that I actually get live recorded battles done because I would only be able to do it when I actually have another YouTuber to battle. It would be really hard to do that over the PSS since I don't know if I would be getting a good battle or not. And last thing is one more question is, does anyone have ideas for other LEGO customs I could do? I mentioned wanting to do some, Leg some LEGO Legend of Zelda customs, but is there any other ideas people have? Nothing too crazy that would require lots of pieces to build something. 
and nothing that would be minifigures with too much flesh toned pieces because I don't have flesh toned pieces. So, Kill a Kill is completely off the table. So, that's pretty much it for this summer update. Most of it was more questions than actual updates. Basically, regular schedule will continue all the same with one how to make Lego Pokemon video a week and one battle video a week. If I get a lot more battles over the PSS, that might move over to two battles a week, one Lego Pokemon video a week. And if I sh start this Pokemon showcase, the Lego Pokemon showcase videos, then I'd probably have one battle a week, one Lego Pokemon showcase video a week, and then one how to make Lego Pokemon video a week. But I can't confirm that yet. I'd have to see once I actually start making them how often I'd be able to have them and if they would sometimes replace other things. So please answer all the questions or at least some of the questions I asked for viewers if you're a regular subscriber so I can get an idea of what to do. And also, don't forget to follow on Twitter for pictures of small Lego Pokemon that so far won't be getting their own videos, but if I start their showcase videos, then they will, sort of. And for previews of every Lego Pokemon that I'm going to be putting out. So, see you next time!